Okay, so now we're going to practice with the sex-linked traits. Here's our first problem. So this is, again, going to discuss hemophilia. It's a condition that affects the ability of blood to clot. If a person with this condition gets a cut, it will bleed for longer than usual. Hemophilia is caused by a recessive allele found on the X chromosome. Two parents are having a child. The mother is a carrier and the father is a sufferer of the condition. That means he's got hemophilia. You're going to use the letter H to represent the hemophilia allele. Okay, so I've um, taken this off the present mode because um, we do have to write in some superscripts. So here's a tech tip. To make the allele H a superscript, you're going to have to highlight it. Then you're going to go up to Format Text Superscript. Um, there is a keyboard shortcut, but I'm going to show you up here how to do it. Okay, so mother's genotype. We're going to type in the box. Um, the mother is a carrier and the father is a sufferer. So if mom is a carrier, she's going to have, she's actually going to have two capital X's. Then she's going to have a capital H on one and a lowercase on the other. So to make these H's a superscript, I always type them in first. And then I'm going to highlight this first X, or I'm sorry, the first H. We're going to go up to Format, Text superscript and there you can see it popped it up as a superscript we're going to do the same thing format text superscript and there we have that then we're going to do the father's genotype like that as well okay so here's the mother's genotype and we're going to do the father's genotype next so he is a sufferer of the condition. That means his only X chromosome is going to have the lower case H. That means he has the condition. Now we're going to set up our Punnett square. You can pause the video and set this up for yourself first. But here's how you can set this up. It does not matter if you put mom on top or the side. Either way, you can flip-flop the parents. The results will be the same. Then you're going to fill in your Punnett square to find out what the probability is of the children that could have hemophilia. So if we go through and we fill in all of our squares, the first question here, it says drag the circle around the offspring which would have the disorder. You're going to take a look to see who is going to have the disorder. Now remember, if there is a capital H present, they are not going to have that disorder. It will either mask if they have two of them, two H's, or it will just be the dominant allele. So in order to um, express the disorder, you're looking for the lowercase h and with no capital H partnered with it. So here's what you should have circled. This individual is actually a female who's going to have the disorder. She's got two copies of the recessive allele and this male will have the disorder, okay? So here, what is the probability of their child having hemophilia? Well, because two out of the four are circled, that's 50%. What is the probability of the child being a carrier for hemophilia? Just like mom is a carrier, the daughter here can be a carrier. So that's one out of four. That's a 25% chance that there will be a carrier.